right then. Uh, yes, I'm in that pose because I've had a fish. I've only done the intro. First rod was flicked out. Second rod went out onto the spot. Turned around to uh, get the third rod, and I could hear like clutches clicking. I thought someone next door to me or on the other side had left their bait runner on or was winding in uh, with the bait runner off. And uh, no, in fact, it was a run. So I say I've been here sort of five minutes. My breakfast bap hadn't even arrived. Um, by the time the bap had arrived, she was in the net and uh, ready for some filming. Not massive, but I don't care. Five minutes in, it's an absolute stonking start. Next door, Dan next door to me, uh, just met him so he could come around and do some pictures. He's just had a crack in 20 as well. So, I mean, Meg's corners fishing um, well as well. So there are fish up this area, I'm not gonna kid myself. I have treated myself to a bit of luxury. I am in a cabin uh, for the night because I gotta get up early for the morning. But uh, I say, it's nothing massive, but what more importantly, you have Chris in the retaining sling. So that's always good news. Um, absolutely hoofed off. The uh, Evolution Triple Corn Stacker. This is going to be a feisty one now. Triple Corn Stack. Fished over a few of the old uh, Cream Crunch Steamy. He's going to give me a kicking bow, you know. And uh, Really, really dark, still in there, sort of winter come, spring come, summer, as we keep going on about. But, uh, yeah, drop it down. Nice, sort of linear, broken linear, very, very pretty. They say she's not going to break any world records, but I don't care. Five minutes into a session with a carp on the bank, I'm absolutely buzzing. Really, really chuffed. Uh, a motor point, I said, it just goes to prove that even on the lake, it's got a lot of other fish in there as well. Corn stack will do its damage. Absolute beauty. Let's uh, get some stills, slip her back, and uh, enjoy the rest of the session. Well, good morning back down here on uh, White Springs. As per usual, I said the winter water has been rewarding, and as you can see from the first clip before I even get anything set up, I've been rewarded. Uh, the Evolution uh, Triple Corn Stack over some crumbed up steamies, the old cream crunch mixing with some blitzed up corn and a bit of the uh, fishery pellet spawned out just off the corner of an island as if you see there we are just off where those trees are just off the corner of there spawned out sort of only two or three of the midi spawns topped it nicely on top of it and as I said I was turning around setting up the third rod and uh, I could hear clutches going thought that someone else had left their bait runners on and it was in fact me so dead dead happy um, to have that I'm going to stop saying dead, dead shaft as well because people are talking about it. So, uh, but anyway, um, rods are back out now. I'm going to go through the sort of mix I had it on and how I've set up my hinge stiff rig using the uh, corn stack because I said those three stacks just holds that really short stemmed um, chod up really, really fantastically. So we'll go through that. And you said that you can see in the background the mist is down. The weather temperatures have been up but the mists have really held in for a long time. It's about half past 11 now by the time I've set all my kit up and got ready to go. But yeah, we shall uh, see what happens for the rest of the session. As I say, I'm down tonight, back to work Saturday, Sunday, back down Sunday night, back off Monday. So I'll probably combine the two blogs so you'll see me back and forth. Um, if this carries on fishing, obviously I'm gonna fish this peg again next uh, on this Sunday. But we'll see what happens. Next door, Daniel, who uh, was very nice coming across and take some photos. He's just had a 20 as well. So um, the lake is waking up, it is fishing well. The big lady um, hand job did come out last week or the week before last 40 odd pounds. So, you know, really glad for the lad. He said he had it down on soil shed. So Ethan was a bit, <laughs> bit uh, upset because obviously that's where he's been working his area. But uh, that's fishing for us all. So we'll go through some bits and pieces and I'll catch you later. Right then, 
it's the March challenge. 20 pound oh, dorsal up, look at that. Absolutely I mean, an old warrior. 22 pound dead on the nail. Been here half an hour. Join, come down to uh, join Ethan. Uh, lucky to squeeze another 24 in after you saw me very briefly uh, catch that one very quickly. Nothing else happened over there. But um, yeah, half an hour stalking literally over my left hand shoulder. Um, tight clutches and then uh, just literally a, a stack of the old evolution corn and half an hour and she's absolutely paddled off hit and hold situation trying to get into the bridge which is just behind us dead dead angry so let's show the other other side of the fish so it's been really really well behaved even though as I say I picked, oh there we are even though as I say I picked her up and uh and I said the rods, even though they're three pound, they've got a nice forgiving tip to them. And uh, that's what I had, was my reward. So uh, rods are back out. And I said, it's actually on the old hinge stiff reg again with that stack of corners. I said, nailed miles back, absolutely miles and miles back. And then as soon as mine one came in, Ethan had a run as well. Unfortunately, that pinged him up underneath a bush. But they're all over us. They're in swarms. We can see them in groups moving around back and forth. So uh, we're going to get this beautiful one back, get some pictures and crack on with some more filming. There we are ladies and gentlemen, as we've seen, hit and hold action, thick and fast at the moment. Uh, and Ethan, after dropping that one under the bush, has managed to oik himself another one. So uh, let's get back from the action, so Ethan can work his magic and then get on the net. Real hit and hold. There she goes. Well, there we go. That's uh, fish number two for uh, team catch and release. Um, same sort of spot as John's fishing, just over in the snag. That's the same spot I had that run from, but unfortunately lost the first one. But I'll check this one out. £13.12, absolute stunner. What a new bait as well. Um, I'll talk a little bit about that a little, a little bit later on, but shaft. Three nights ahead of me. I've only been fishing for two hours, three hours max. And uh, as you can see, team catch and release out in the sun. Wicked. Just as he was thinking of moving, Bivy's all packed away, gears all loaded in the car. The rod that we've reset this morning is absolutely fizzed off. It's in the back over of the weeds just over here, just off the pads. We can see it fizzing. Been lucky enough to be joined by <laughs> Nazareth and Alan Price, but uh, here we are. It's coming to put Morton out and get this on cam. Bosh. And there we are. What about that for not moving for two minutes? I know, I'll do a minute. <laughs> yeah. There we are, second fish for me. Um, come from a spot that's just over there in the corner. Um, so I cast the rig onto the bank, walk around, clip the rig back on, and literally just hand placed it in. A uh, couple of uh, cream crunch bodies over the top. And yeah, she just peeled away. Hit and hold stuff. She tried to get for the pads. Managed to just get her out and uh, guide her into the net. 15 pound on the button. Just about to think about having a move. I might think I might stay for another couple of hours or two. If just before I move, fish seem to be coming back into the snags. But happy days, fish number two. Right then, it, uh, 
10 minutes before I am about to literally roll the baby down, pack up and go home, it's absolutely kicked off. Went in the sling to my uh, left, and one in the net to my right. Neither of them are very, very big, but I don't absolutely care. Um, Ethan's swapped over swims and I've sort of moved across to the left hand side of the swim. Fishing tight up a sort of uh, pad bed, so they're not up properly, but we've seen them in there uh, in numbers yesterday. And they seem to have just moved out overnight and moved out for most of the day. But now they seem to have come back in and say it could be five or six fish have just come in and the bait's just too tempting to miss. So uh, we'll get them on one by one. First one's a really, really nice, pretty scaly one, and the second one's a scaly ghosty. So uh, we'll get them on the mat and catch up with you second. Catch and release. There we are, it's number one of the two fish we're about to see. Uh, 15 pound 12, beautiful futile scale pattern, sort of linear on top and bottom. Really, really pretty. Fought like an absolute dog. Um, got it on the mat and it's absolutely papping out the old uh, cream crunch. Uh, caught on the uh, corn start this one and the other one then is on a cream crunch bottom with a cream crunch topper. Um, amazing, and as I say, I had that first fish within 20 minutes and then it's gone dead for sort of 24 hours more or less. I'm literally about to pack up and go home. First rod screams off, got this on the mat uh, and the second rod goes off, quickly zip up the sling, chuck it out and uh, play the other one. So the other one's a really, really pacey sort of ghosty one. Uh, happy as sin really to be honest, it's really topped off the session for me. So uh, we'll take some stills of this, slip her back, and then you shall see number two. And there she is, number two. A really, really pretty, battered, old, war-torn ghosty. Absolutely kicked the living crap out of me under the rod tips or around the swim, trying to go into snag bushes. I said, just kept the tip high and sort of kept the bend and it kept a really quite active bend. But yeah, I said, two fish in three, four minutes. I said, still had the one in the sling ready to put it out for ready to get the camera set up and it's absolutely ripped off again. Um, I've got another half an hour. I might flick them back out. Um, they've probably gone off now because I said, there's a lot of commotion with those two fish very, very quickly. Uh, 18 pound on the bar. I said, it doesn't look it at all, but it's quite thick across the shoulders and quite a long little fish to be honest uh, so that just goes to prove they said the cream crunch being fed in there all the time and the corn the two baits just work every single time as a combination that these fish are finding irresistible um, I'm gonna say it I'm gonna risk it dead dead chuffed absolutely buzzing and um, gonna flip the rods back out whilst I pack everything away and who knows there might be another one left in store I say we haven't done a lot of rigs we haven't done a lot of position here um, I'm going to team this up with Ethan's blog and we're going to do a tag team blog because he's down for a couple of more days so he can do some of his rigs and bits and pieces that he's had his fish on. So yeah, team catch and release. Moving on into March, getting stronger. Happy days.